Bemidji is playing host to a big time curling tournament this week. 24 teams of young curlers are here for the under 18 National Curling Championship. Josh Peterson has more. In a city that is known as the curling capital of the United States, the Bemidji Curling Club felt it was only fitting that the city host the U18 National Curling Championships. Teams from coast to coast came to compete in Bemidji from Maryland, Massachusetts, Wisconsin, and all over the country. With the event only in its second year, it's crucial for organizers that the tournament is an overall success. There's still a lot more to learn and to refine too, so um, I think it's a good event to host and, and, a, and a way, like I say, to give back to the kids. For a city that was proclaimed the curling capital of the United States, hosting the U18 Nationals is a pretty big deal. We decided to step up and, and host the U18 this year just because it is, it's a new event first of all, it's uh, only the second annual of its kind and uh, it's, it's really a way to give back to the kids. Bemidji added its own touch to the event by having an opening ceremony. The Clawson rink will be the first rink in this evening. And banquet. <laughs> so that all teams could connect. Coaches see the youth curling tournament as a way to inspire and continue growing the sport. It's a great event that the U.S. Curling Association has added to really help give the younger girls and boys a chance to understand what it's like to play at a very competitive level. Since the addition of curling to the Winter Olympics, the sport has seen continuous growth. And with tournaments like the U18, the future is looking bright. Really um, excited to, to help USA Curling build a program and then raise the level of competitiveness in, uh, in youth curling across the country. After a warm greeting from Bemidji's mayor and a note of encouragement from Olympic curling medalists, the U18 will officially sweep its way into the record books beginning Thursday. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Teams will hold final practices tomorrow morning with pool play beginning at noon. Colin will have the highlights of the U18 tomorrow and Friday during sports. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.